So today's question was, what's the simplest example of an MVVM project, if you will? So um, I thought we'd just try that today. So here's a brand new uh, empty project. And uh, I thought the scenario we could try is uh, that we would just have a text field whose input or lack of input um, influences uh, a text element. So that is, we'll have a text field here and let's just use um, whatever title, enter some text, and then we'll have a binding here. So let's create that. Let's just call that state or my text, and that'll be a string. And now we'll just say dollar my text. So that's the binding to that text. Um, and we'll give this a little border so we can see it. Color dot gray. All right, let's put this in a V stack. Otherwise, we'll get two uh, preview windows. Okay, let's update the preview. All right, so what we want to happen, and I'll hit play, is that when I enter some text here, uh, where it now says hello world, we'll basically uh, display either an X or a checkbox, uh, basically designating whether that field is has some text in it or is empty. So the, the challenge here is, well, how do we do that in just SwiftUI with no view models of any kind? And the short answer is, it's not actually straightforward. There's no direct way to say, uh, change this field or change this text element uh, when another thing changes. So what we'll do instead is do a very, very simple uh, view model showing how we can disconnect the view model from the view and therefore bind those two fields together in the view model code, not in the UI code. So first we would basically, you know, we would need two pieces of data, right? My text and my message, right? And for now it'd be empty. So we'd put my message here, right? This would be the thing we display. And as I mentioned that the real question now is, um, how do we bind one to the other? So let's add a little bit of padding, just to make it look nicer, there we go. And just to show that it's there, for now, I'll just say empty. Uh, and actually, you know, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So now I see it's empty, and how do we connect them? So let's create a very simple view model. And actually, a view model needs to be a class because what's most important for view models is they have to be um, observable. What that means is the view can notice changes that occur there, all right? So then what we'll do is we'll take these two and move them up into the view model instead. And rather than state, because they're no longer view state, they're now published properties of the view model. And published just means that when they change, they'll broadcast their change because they're observable and the content view will observe them. Um, so what we can do here is to say we need a state object in this case, because it's not transient state, it's state that's gonna persist for uh, more than one creation of this content view. Just think of it as it's a single view model that sticks around regardless of how many times SwiftUI recreates this view. So we can just call this model, view model, and uh, we'll just create a new, a new view model. So that's it. We'll connect this up in a minute. Um, but first, let's just create an initializer so we can create it. Um, all right, let's leave it at that actually. So let's come back here, we'll go to model, and now we, we would type dollar sign model dot um, my text. So notice here, now you're getting a binding to that property inside of the model observable object uh, view model, if that makes sense. So for my message, same idea, but we don't need a binding here. We just need to display the contents of my message. Okay, so now if we run this, okay, it's running. And I can type, but of course nothing's happening and we haven't connected the two together. But what's really nice is you can do all that connection now in your view model. There's no code required in the content view itself, in the view as part of your, of your app. So now we go here and you might say, well, how do I connect the two? Well, one easy way is using uh, combine, right? So I'll import combine and I'll just say, how about when I see my text change, let's update my message. So the easiest way to do that is to use, there's many ways, by the way, in Combine to do this stuff, but the simplest way we'll start for today is to use a simple map operator. That means I wanna map the value of one thing to potentially something else. In this case, I wanna take, I wanna take whatever 
um, actually my text, sorry, well, what comes in is dollar zero is the value of my text, right? So I wanna take that value and if it's empty, why don't we return something? And if it's not empty, we'll return something else. So how about if it's empty, um, let's return this emoji. And how about if it's not empty, we'll return a checkbox. And then what's really nice is now it's converted the, the value of the string, if it's empty or not, into a new string. But we don't want to put that into my text. We actually want to put it into my message. So there's actually a really easy way to do that. You can use the assign operator, that one, and you can publish it. You can assign it to another published property. So in this case, we'll assign it to my message. And believe it or not, that's it. So now if we rerun or update the preview, notice it now has an X. So if I start, start typing, it changes to a checkbox. If I go back, now it's back to an X. So this is a great example of the absolute simplest way of not only having a very basic view model, but more importantly for this example, is to also using combine to kind of bind these two properties together and have one be a function of the other. And you can see now I'm using very simple logic, but now you can do things like string validation, um, is the password strong, so on and so forth. Thanks. Okay, that's it. So if you've got other problems you'd like me to solve or want me to go into even more depth about any specific topic, just send me a message on Twitter at at Paul Colton, and I'll do my best to cover it in a future episode. Thanks.